Hello, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to our Chef's Corner. Uh, we conduct this every Wednesday and Friday at 11 uh, a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, at this moment, I'd like to ask you to mute uh, your mics if you haven't already. And uh, if you guys don't know who I am, I am Raymond Bolas. I am your executive sous chef at your table in Mountain View. Uh, my safety moment for today is since we are almost to 2021, hooray. Um, it's a great time to change the batteries in your smoke detectors. Um, I do it every year, uh, right, right at the beginning of January. It's just a simple thing to do um, to ensure in case uh, you have a fire, your, uh, your units are working properly. Um, as far as meal planning, um, it's hard to do in my, uh, in my kitchen at my house. Um, so, you know, I have four people, including myself at my house. We all uh, get up different times, go to bed different times, work different times. Um, so I try to keep it simple. Um, you'll see in the video here, uh, a, a small tip that I have is to do what we call a batch cooking method where when we, uh, you know, have different ingredients, I like to keep them all separate until we come together to make them into a meal. This ensures if there's any leftovers, it's easy in, to incorporate it into another meal. Um, you know, so that's my small tip. And uh, if you wanna play the video, hope you all enjoy. Welcome to the CVK. Today we're going to make a uh, winter salad. So first I'm going to sh show you uh, all the ingredients that we've done here so far. So right here, this is just some nice cleaned uh, kale right here. When I'm making, um, you know, salads and stuff like this at home, I always like to keep everything separate because not everybody has the same taste buds, so uh, especially my family. And doing it this way, um, as soon as everything's done, everybody's done getting their items, we can close the lids on them. They're all separate, so we can incorporate any of these items later on tomorrow uh, with another dish or another salad. So, um, and I always tend to make extra because my wife will take a lot to work. Then her, her lunch is all set. Anybody can come down. You know, it's tough. You walk into uh, the kitchen, open the refrigerator or the pantry, you're just staring at it forever. But if you have items like this that are already prepared, it makes it so much easier. You can just open it up, make a very hearty, nice salad. And um, yeah, so anyway, uh, we have some uh, dried cranberries right here. These will add a little bit of tartness in there. And then this is some uh, tricolored quinoa. So we're keeping everything pretty much uh, vegetable protein besides uh, the blue cheese at the end. But um, right here we have a tricolored, it's a red, black, and white uh, quinoa. So uh, how you prepare this, I did this earlier and pulled it down. Uh, you wanna add um, one and a half times water to uh, one part of quinoa. So if you made a, a one cup of quinoa, you would use a cup and a half of water. You would boil your water. You could add maybe you know a teaspoon of salt if you wish, and boil that out. Um, stick it on simmer, cover it, let it go for about 15, 20 minutes. Turn it off, and then lay it out. Um, on a, I did it on a plate, and then you put it in the fridge. Let it cool down that way. We'll get a little of that. This will add a. This is a good protein source as well. Here's some nice pecans. tangerine segments I did earlier. And who doesn't like these? I mean, you know, you make, you make these, good snack later on too. So, here's some nice pears. And these beets right here, we also uh, steamed off earlier. Um, I would normally use the beet greens, I would add them to the salad, but they're a little bit wil wilted today, so I decided not to, and I went ahead and uh, put them in the compost bin. So anyway, um, we cut them off, you, you wash them, leave the skins on, stick them in the steamer, and it takes about 45 minutes. And you can pull them out, the skins come off really easy, uh, and you can cool it down. 
What I did, I tricked to see if they're ready. Uh, I take a toothpick, stick them in the center. If, it, if the toothpick flows right through it, they're ready. So it's usually about 40 minutes, depending on how large they are. Sometimes you can get beets that are very large and it'll take a, a little bit more time, so. All right, here's some radishes we did earlier. And these are some butternut squash right next to it that we uh, we cleaned the butternut squash, we peeled it, uh, we seeded it, and then we uh, cut them into little chunks like this, tossed in a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, roasted in the oven uh, for about, you know, about half an hour. Um, so we'll put some of those in there. And then here's a little bit of uh, persimmon. I had, a, I had one persimmon left, I didn't want it to go to waste, and uh, this is a good uh, winter uh, fruit as well. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. Some nice greens. And then we'll put some blue cheese in there. So add some nice heartiness, salty. And then here's the uh, pomegranate vinaigrette that we made earlier. We used, uh, I believe it was about two thirds cup of pomegranate juice, uh, as well as a half a cup of vinegar, uh, red wine vinegar, and about a cup of oil, um, as, long, as well as uh, uh, some Dijon mustard. It was about four teaspoons and about four tablespoons of honey as well to give it a little sweetness. Then we emulsified that together. So. Dressing is all preference, however much, however little you like, is your choice. side because if we toss them in there it's just going to turn everything purple or red so I think it gives it a better look uh, this way. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you try it out and uh, we'll see you next time. All right something simple something delicious uh, a lot of good uh, yeah you, you said it chef um, I wanted to put a lot of superfoods in there so um, I also uh, am veg. Well, I'm pescatarian, but I eat a lot of vegetarian food myself. So um, this one kind of came straight from the heart, and uh, it was. It's great. It's it's a good dinner, you know. So I I made this for dinner as well. Um, you know, it's it's nice and filling, uh, good protein sources, and you're not going to bed with this, you know, just lump in your gut. So um, you feel great the next day after you have a you know a nice salad like this for dinner. So. Um, any questions, any comments? Go ahead and unmute if you'd like. Do you use the rice cooker to cook your quinoa? Uh, no, I didn't. I do that straight on the, uh, on the stove. On the... I just got a rice cooker first time and I have not steamed anything in it yet. Uh, but I've been messing around with like Spanish rice and uh, uh, all kinds of different, different rices, but I haven't gotten the grains yet. So I was just curious. I love using it though. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I use I use my rice cooker probably half the time for rice and half the time for other things such as beets. Um, I do a lot of artichokes in them as well. Um, so, I mean, as you can see, I don't have much room, you know, in the rice cooker with the steam um, with the steam tray. So, um, with artichokes, I cut them straight in half, you know, clean them uh, immediately, so you don't have to, you know, mess with it after they're hot and you just, you know, eat them. But, uh, but yeah, I use it quite often i probably use it three four times a week but um yeah, yeah quinoa would, would 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 work fine in there as well um since i was had the beats going you know i just use it just use this countertop use i mean use the uh, stove top for the uh, quinoa that's awesome mine didn't come with a steamer so i had to buy one on the amazon and uh i just got it it's like a silicone basket like you see for canning you know with the handles on it right it fits right in there so i'm gonna i'm gonna try the artichokes i love doing it but then set up a whole steamer for artichokes but um now that i got the rice cooker i'm gonna grab some and try that it's a great tip yep
<clears throat> I'll send you a picture of my steamer basket. It was like eight bucks, and it's super cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you saw my last chef video with the uh, Chipino. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> made my own makeshift one. <laughs> oh, God, wonder. Yeah. Thanks, chef. Awesome job. All right, thank you, chef. Looks good. Thanks, Adam. Hey, Adam, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Glad you were able to join. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, it's okay. You can watch it again. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, any other comments, questions? Guess nice not. job. Well, all right. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time.